Good evening and welcome to the Daily Office. I'm Brother Bill and I'm so glad you could join me. This is night prayer for Thursday, January the 5th, and tonight is the eve of the Epiphany. The scripture for this service, Psalm 98, Romans chapter 15, verse 7 to 13, and the canticle is from the prophet Sirach, chapter 36, verses 1 through 7. Our help is in the name of God the Most High, the maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. Almighty God, source of all being, we have sinned against you through our own fault, in thought and word and deed, and in what we've left undone. For the sake of our Savior, Jesus Christ, forgive us all our offenses. Grant that we may serve you in newness of life to the glory of your name. Amen. And may Almighty God grant us forgiveness of all our sins and the grace and the comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O oh God, come to my assistance. Make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit. As in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. The guiding star above is bright, within them shines a clearer light, and leads them on with power benign to seek the giver of the sign. Psalm 98. O oh, sing to God the Most High a new song, for God has done marvelous things. God's right hand and God's holy arm have gained the victory. God the Most High has given salvation, and God's righteousness has been openly shown in the sight of the heathen. God has shown mercy and truth toward the family of Israel. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation of our God. Make a joyful noise to God the Most High, all the earth. Make a loud noise and rejoice and sing praise. Sing to God with the harp, with the harp and the voice of a psalm, with trumpets and the sound of coronet. Make a joyful noise before God the Most High, the ruler. Let the sea and all that is in it roar, the world and all that live there. Let the floods clap their hands and let the hills be joyful. Before God the Most High, for our God comes to judge the earth. With righteousness shall God judge the world and the people with equity. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. The guiding star above is bright. Within them shines a clearer light and leads them on with power benign to seek the giver of the sign. The lesson is from Paul's letter to the Romans, chapter 15, beginning at verse 7. Welcome one another, therefore, just as Christ has welcomed you for the glory of God. For I tell you that Christ has become a servant of the circumcised, on behalf of the truth of God, in order that he might confirm the promises given to the patriarchs, and in order that the Gentiles might glorify God for his mercy. For it is written, Therefore I will confess you among the Gentiles, and sing praises to your name. And again he says, Rejoice, Gentiles, with his people. And again, Praise the Lord, all you Gentiles, and let all the peoples praise him. And again, Isaiah says, The root of Jesse shall come, the one who rises to rule the Gentiles. In him the Gentiles shall hope. And may the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing, so that you may abound in hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. Here ends the lesson. Into your hands I commend my spirit, for you have redeemed me, O God of truth. Keep us as the apple of your eye, 
and hide us in the shadow of your wings. Our beloved in heaven, holy your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us as we forgive others. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. O oh, Jesus, while the star of grace impels us on to seek your face, let not our slothful hearts refuse the guidance of your light to use. A prayer for God's people. Have mercy upon us, O God of all, and put all the nations in fear of you. Lift your hand against foreign nations, and let them see your might. As you have used us to show your holiness to them, so use them to show your glory to us. Then they will know as we have known, there is no God but you, O Most High. Give new signs and work other wonders, and make your hand and right arm glorious. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. O oh, Jesus, while the star of grace impels us on to seek your face, let not our slothful hearts refuse the guidance of your light to you. O oh, tender God, you have seduced me, and I was seduced. And the almighty and merciful God, source of all being, eternal word, and Holy Spirit, bless us and keep us now and forever. Amen. Alleluia.